of the people, places, and events of our times is presented to you as a public service by Industrial National Bank of Rhode Island. USA. Franklin, Ohio, population 10,000, a pioneering community in our pollution-conscious country. For here in Franklin is located one of the most advanced solid waste treatment plants in the world. The unique recycling complex takes raw garbage and systematically transforms it into usable glass, metals, and paper-making fibers. The revolutionary concept is literally turning trash into cash. The plant has a capacity of 300,000 pounds of garbage a day, and 38% of every pound can be recovered for recycling. The resource recycling begins when the garbage is carried on a conveyor belt to a water-filled chamber called a hydropulper. Built like a giant kitchen blender with rotating blades at the bottom, the hydropulper beats the metal into compact wads, pounds the broken glass into tiny particles, and reduces the paper and cardboard boxes into component fibers. Broken down and sorted out, metal, glass, and fibers go their separate ways. Tin cans and heavy metal objects are passed onto a bucket elevator called a junker for preliminary cleaning. The junker discharges the materials into a revolving drum where they are cleaned a second time before being ejected. With every American generating almost a ton of garbage a year, there is a bumper crop of cans to be reclaimed and resold. Completing the scrap recycling, ferrous metals, those containing iron and steel, are separated from non-ferrous metals by means of a magnetic conveyor belt. The non-ferrous metals fall into a bin on the left, while the magnetic separator carries and drops the scraps of iron and steel into a container on the right. The reclaimed metal is sold for $15 a ton to the Armco Steel Corporation plant in nearby Middletown, Ohio. The implications of resource recycling are striking. America loses $5 billion a year in valuable metals in unclaimed waste. At the same time, we spend $4.5 billion to collect this very same waste. The scrap metal from the Franklin plant, fed into the open hearth furnace at Armco, is a fiery symbol of what can be done to convert a community liability into an industrial asset. American consumers are an abundant and growing source of valuable scrap. Recycled and reused, this scrap metal can be processed into a multitude of uses. Here the steel is being shaped, rolled and stretched. When the steel is cooled, it is welded into giant rolls. A part of Franklin's garbage, reclaimed and refined, 
is ready for use in the production of automobiles, appliances, and other industrial goods. The second major recycling operation at Franklin is the processing of paper and cardboard after being chewed, chopped, shredded, and finally ejected from the hydropulper, the waste materials begin a series of cleanings designed to separate the useful fibers from materials such as dirt, leather, plastics, and food wastes. Paper and cardboard make up more than half of the garbage that is handled at the Franklin complex. step-by-step -step washing and weeding out is designed to sterilize and purify the usable fibers. Opened in 1971, the Franklin plant is the first of its kind in the world. The waste disposal operation is the nucleus of a still unfinished environmental complex that eventually will include a sewage reclamation plant. garbage plant will dump its dirty water into the sewage facility and get back all of the clean water that it needs to operate. When the recycled paper and cardboard boxes have been broken down into usable fibers, they are collected and crated for shipment. The salvaged material is sold to paper mills for $25 a ton. Revenue from the sale of the reclaimed paper, glass, and metal offers the possibility of covering half of the plant's operating costs, including depreciation. Cleantown USA gives promise of becoming the first environmental control center in the world where solid waste and municipal sewage can be treated so as not to pollute the land, sea, or sky. The project also will serve as an example to other cities that garbage can be recycled, not only to reduce pollution, but also to reduce the rising cost of sanitation services through the sale of recycled materials. The third unit in the Franklin system shreds discarded bottles and jars into particles that are less than three quarters of an inch in diameter. The glass chips have a variety of uses in the increasing emphasis on resource recycling. As an example, waste glass is now being used in cement blocks. Studies have shown that blocks made of 30% recycled glass meet all of the requirements for above ground construction. A new look from glass that has been recycled instead of thrown away. Waste glass also is being used in the manufacture of a special kind of floors called terrazzo that is composed of colored chips embedded in white cement. New terrazzo made with recycled glass is just as attractive and durable as more expensive terrazzo made with polished marble chips. Combining the glass chips with a special chemical compound permits the terrazzo to be made thinner. Because it is thinner, it is also lighter, and this makes it extremely useful in the construction of high-rise buildings. A third application of recycled glass is in the manufacture of a new and cheaper form of glass wool insulation.
composed of 50% waste glass. The new material has increased resistance to moisture retention. A new and imaginative way of putting solid waste out of sight. From Recycle Glass, three products of beauty, strength, and serviceability. The non-polluting, non-odorous white steam that rises over the Franklin plant is yet another tribute to this pace setter in ecology. What the complex cannot reclaim and resell is burned at 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit and the exhaust gases are cleaned and scrubbed before being discharged. The operation is so efficient that the final residue comprises in volume only 2% of the garbage processed at the plant. The Franklin complex is already a focal point for visitors from all parts of the United States and countries overseas. Among the observers are Swedish businessmen and government officials touring the United States to study environmental and pollution control systems. The recycling plant was designed and built for the Black Clawson Company, with the United States Environmental Protection Agency providing two-thirds of the $2,100,000 in construction costs. The governmental agency is looking for ways of recovering from municipal waste such valuable byproducts as glass, metal, paper, fertilizer, and fuel for power boilers. But pollution and environmental control is not solely an American problem. And that is why concerned officials take part in exchange visits to look listen, learn, and wherever possible to share progress made in overcoming the costly and critical problem of solid waste disposal. Americans throw away a million tons of trash a day. Six to nine million cars are junked each year. The piles of garbage grow and grow. A tide of trash threatens America. Resource recycling is one solution, pioneered by the citizens of Franklin, Ohio, who had the foresight and courage to save the purity of the land entrusted to them by God. This edition of the Screen News Digest has been brought to you as a public service by Industrial National Bank of Rhode Island.